Hello friends, a very welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Shambhu and uh, today we are going to discuss about a very interesting topic in MPLS traffic engineering. Uh, the name of the topic is MPLS traffic engineering auto tunnel. First of all, I'll try to explain the need of this technology and then we'll move to the configuration part of it. I have a small demo at the end of this video. So stay tuned. Let's get started with the concept first. So for example, you are a network engineer uh, and you are managing this ISP cloud. This is a small ISP cloud. It has not grown much. It has few provider edge routers and you are running MPLS traffic engineering to uh, provide services to your end customers. Just for instance, suppose you have two provider edge router for now and everything is working quite well with MPLS traffic engineering. You have very good control over traffic. But with time you are growing the need and your business is, is expanding and you are getting orders from your higher management to add more and more provider edge router in different segments of the geography. So you go ahead, you, you add few more sites, then you add few more sites, then again you add few more sites and this exercise keeps on happening and eventually you find yourself doing a lot of configurations. For example, if in this particular site we have 10 routers sitting here and if you want to uh, do a mesh configuration between all these routers so for example uh, if you grow to 100 provider edge routers right and in all those 100 provider edge routers you need to configure at least 99 traffic engineering tunnels in order to achieve the full mesh right and if you do the maths you will have to have to configure 9900 tunnels and you will have to manage all those tunnels you can expect that how difficult this whole task is going to be right this is a nightmare and there is no way that a small team can manage all these so in order to solve this we have something called auto tunnel tunnel mesh so what auto tunnel mesh does is uh, we create templates so we create a tunnel template template configuration we put that configuration on each and every site and after that it is the responsibility of the network to create a mesh to all the other routers which are having similar configuration in the template for example i uh, i provide a specific group identity to that particular template and that template is, sit uh, is sitting on router a router b and router c in my network if all these three routers are having same uh, group identity then they will form a group and they will form a mesh tunnels between them uh, this particular technology has decreased the overall overall work to quite minimum because in earlier scenario we were configuring 99 tunnels uh, to form a full mesh right in comparison if you use auto tunnel mesh you will just configure one traffic engineering uh, auto template and the rest of the things is, is taken care by the router itself. Router would try to uh, find out the routers which are belonging to the same group and it will uh, form the dynamic dynamic uh, MPLS traffic engineering tunnels between all, all of those routers. So how does it happen is for example uh, this is your network and you have two routers it is connected uh to the cloud for for now and those two routers are provider as router once i bring the third router and i uh, provide the auto template configuration on this particular router this router will go ahead and configure dynamic tunnels between other two routers if the auto template uh, identity is same between all these three routers we don't need to do any other configuration on above two routers just conf uh, just configuring auto templates on the below uh, you know southbound router is uh, is sufficient in this case so let's quickly see the configuration here uh, you will get more idea about what i have i have explained in my previous slide so in order to enable auto template mesh you first of all you will have to configure this command which says that uh, mpls traffic engineering auto tunnel mesh then this is the auto template which i was talking about here just one thing uh, which you need to notice is uh, tunnel destination mesh group i have given the group number as 10. similarly in ospf process also i give uh, mesh group uh, specific configuration and attach it to one of the area so this is all we have in the configuration so let's see the demo now 
this is my demo topology which you are seeing on the screen right now i have pe1 uh, pe2 and pe3 in this i am running ospf as igp and right now what i have is a dynamic tunnel bidirectionally configured between pe1 and pe3 is already in place and i have done that with the help of auto template configuration my intention is to bring up another site which is pe2 here and i'll put the auto template configuration on pe2 and without doing any configuration changes on pe1 and pe3 the pe2 router should attach to the network and should be able to ping the prefixes which are there on pe3 and pe2 uh, devices so let me quickly show you the configuration which i have on pe1 first of all uh, this is the P1 router. Uh, let me not open another session for it. it there is a, already one session. So if you see show IP interface brief, we have one dynamic tunnel created. Uh, if you do show run interface tunnel uh, 64336, you would not see anything. It is dynamically created tunnel. Here you can see I have configured auto tem template if you see the auto template configuration it will have other details for example here you can see that i am attached to mesh group 10 this is the specific identity i was talking about the mesh group if any of the router in the network coming up with the auto template configuration uh, with the mesh group 10 id uh, that belongs to my group so i am going to form dynamic tunnels between uh, between that particular router and myself apart from this particular configuration you see all other configurations are exactly same as the static tunnel configurations uh, what we had now since the tunnel is already active let's see the specifications of this tunnel uh, in order to check that we have a command show MPLS MPLS uh, traffic engineering a uh, tunnels tunnel and here you can put the tunnel ID which is 64336 so this tunnel is created on pe1 and the destination of the tunnel is 8888 8888 is nothing but the loopback zero ip address on pe3 if you see show run interface loopback zero on pe3 you'll find 888 here now again going back to PE1 you can see uh, there are few more specifications for example uh, you can find out that this tunnel is admin up operationally up path is valid and signal is connected here and you can see that explicit path is taking a via 30.5 uh, 30.6 and uh, 40.5 it is not the same path as calculated by the constraint based uh, shortest shortest path algorithm which we run in the MPLS TE part let me show you the connectivity between PE1 and PE2 uh, with the help of loopbacks which I have configured on both these routers so interface loopback 1 is the loopback which is configured on uh, PE1 with the IP address 192.168.1.1 and also on PE3 I have a loopback 1 configured it has the IP address 192.168.2.1 uh, let me quickly show you a uh, route for these loopbacks 2.1 uh, it shows that it is reachable via tunnel 64336 which is nothing but our tunnel which is connecting between PE1 and PE3 here also if you want to see uh, IP route for the 192.168.1.1 uh, prefix it says that it is reachable via tunnel and if we ping ping 192.168.2.1 which is other side of the uh, network we are able to ping and it is working quite well now let's see the situation comes and i need to another uh, i need to add another uh, provider edge router here and in order to do that i i'll show you that what uh, minimum configuration i am going to need on pe2 router and with that with that only configuration PE2 would be able to attach itself to the network and would form a mesh uh, connectivity between PE1 and PE3 and would be able to uh, reach to the loopbacks which uh, you know just now I have demonstrated uh, to ensure the connectivity so for that I'll just quickly 
copy paste the configuration from auto template from PE1 to PE2 because uh, this auto template is having the exact same configuration which I'm going to need on PE1 so I'll go ahead and configure auto template here in auto template you can see that the mesh group group should be same because if the mesh group are same then only I'm going to attach to that particular group of neighbors so IP interface brief we don't have any dynamic tunnels here, here right now so for that we need to do two things I'll get into a uh, router OSPF sorry one and I'll do MPLS traffic engineering tunnel traffic engineering then a mesh group the mesh group ID is 10 the loopback 0 is going to be my loopback and area 0 this is the configuration which you need to provide under OSPF in order to make OSPF aware about this particular mesh group also. Now I just need to go ahead and configure MPLS traffic engineering uh, auto tunnel mesh under the global configuration mode. As soon as I put this, I should be seeing some tunnels coming up. All right. So I have one tunnel which is 64336, another tunnel is 64337. So these two tunnels have come up. If you do show IP interface brief now, you would see these two tunnels. These are up and active state right now. So if I put any traffic over this these tunnels, then it should reach to PE1 and PE3. Uh, at the same time, I mean, uh, we see that the tunnels are dynamically created uh, on PE2, but are those also created on PE1 and PE3? Because uh, these MPLS traffic engine tunnels are unidirectional tunnels. Uh, we need uh, the tunnel on other router also to have the bi-directional connect connectivity. So let me just quickly go ahead and show you. Earlier we have seen that. Uh, let me quickly scroll up uh, earlier we have seen that we just had one tunnel 64336 uh, let's see if we have any more tunnels coming up all right there is one more tunnel 64337 here and on PE3 show IP interface I'm sorry yeah IP interface brief here also we have another tunnel coming up if you see if you want to see specs on this particular tunnel show mpls traffic engineering tunnels tunnel 64337 you need to do and you would see that the destination of that tunnel is 3333 which is nothing but the loopback ip address on the pe2 router here right so it looks like we have a mesh connectivity established now uh, just like the connectivity test we did between PE1 and PE3 I'm going to do it between PE2 and PE1 and PE3 all right okay so uh, I have this loopback one configured and this loopback one I have already advertised in okay I have not advertised in OSPF I'm going to do that now interface loopback one IP OSPF one area zero now it is advertised in OSPF also uh let me just see show ip uh, route for 192.168.1.1 which is the ip address on pe1 all right it is reachable via 64336 tunnel which is the tunnel connecting to pe1 router and if you check it for the 2.1 it is reachable via 64337 tunnel which is the tunnel connecting to the pe3 three router now you may, may ask question that why uh, I am uh, doing IP OSPF one area zero uh, why I am not doing static route or anything else so basically just for the static route I am not doing static route because with the auto tunnels configuration static routes are not supported I have checked the Cisco router configuration guide it says that static routes with auto tunnel configurations are not supported so you need to do a dynamic method uh, in order to put traffic on the MPLS tunnels MPLS traffic engine tunnels sorry. so we have the routes now let me quickly ping and check the connectivity 2.1 is PE3 it is reachable 
1.1 is also reachable let me just 192 168 let us trace also uh, this trace is going from pe2 to p1 to p2 to p4 and p3 p3 and this is the same path which is uh, which it is taking when pe1 is trying to uh, ping to or trace to p3's loopback so this is the same path and if i want to do it for 1.1 it should just show me two hops right so this is quite good i think all is working so what we did is we just plugged in one router into the network with the basic minimal configuration and the network has dynamically configured itself isn't it neat the very close technology what i remember uh, which is which works very similar like this is dmvpn there also you just need to plug in the spoke routers and everybody would be knowing about the spoke router all right it was very interesting to know that similar technology is existing in mpls traffic engineering world also i'm going to do another video on this in which i'm going to show a fast reroute over these uh, dynamic tunnels Thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe it. I have many interesting content coming up. Thank you so much for watching and keep learning. Have a nice day.